everyone. Today uh, we're here with Lee Thaxton from RV Armor. Of course, we're here because we're trying to make smart buyers smarter by interviewing not only product manufacturers, but also service companies who are providing a service to the RV community. Lee, please say hello to everybody. Hi, everybody. Okay. So, uh, we're dealing with a situation here that probably some of you are very familiar with and some of you who are new RVers are not familiar with at all, and that is the problem of roofing leaks and roofing maintenance. Two very uh, problematic uh, issues that RVers have to deal with, unfortunately. So, Lee, I don't want to steal all of your thunder. This is really your story. Let me ask you, could you just sort of give us a brief product or service description to kind of help everybody understand what are the problems and what is your solution to solve those problems, please? Sure, I think the biggest one is, is going to be uh, roof maintenance. Uh, many people don't realize just how much it takes to maintain these roofs up there. You're, you're supposed to get up there and, and put a UV treatment on there every year to kind of keep it so that it's pliable and, and working. Kind of like the UV treatment you put on when you go out for sunscreen, basically, for your RV roof, essentially. Uh, but there's also a bunch of caulking up there and maintenance that you have to deal with, it's for, it's plus cleaning it. Uh, but one of the biggest challenges is that if you don't do it, uh, then you've got yourself a big problem. If water intrusion comes in, then you're talking about all kinds of water damage and mold and other issues. So, you know, remember that your roof on your RV is what protects your asset. It's what protects the, everything else because when water gets in, then you're talking some, some major issues. Okay. So, all right. So, we, now we know we have the problem. And help me understand, what is your simplest description of your solution? And maybe we should really share with them what your background was and how you sort of built this business. Just briefly. Sure, sure, I'll, sure. I'll try. I'll try to do that. Uh, well, basically, uh, my background is I'm a, I'm a third generation commercial roofing guy. My grandfather, who I'm named after, is, is was also Lee Thaxton. Uh, back in the late 1940s, started Thaxton roofing up in the Cleveland, Ohio area. And uh, but I uh, I've stayed in the commercial side of things most of my life. And uh, to be honest with you, RV Armor was born by accident. Uh, I always joke that I that it's not like I rolled out of bed one day and said, hey, honey, let's go start an RV roofing business, right? It, it started because of our desire to want to be an RVer like everybody here on this on this show right now. Um, so as we started investigating, we didn't know if we wanted a fifth wheel, if we wanted a class A gas, a class A diesel. So we weren't really sure. So when we were in the dreamer stage, we kept hearing over and over and over again about all these problems with RV roofing. And uh, and how the problems that they have. So we, one thing led to another. We've been using these products for over 30 years commercially. And so one thing led to another. We started doing them for a few friends and we started realizing that this was a major, major problem in the RV industry. And uh, RV Armor was born. Okay, that, that's a great background. Now, help me understand how, you know, what is it that your service actually does? I mean, like, how does it work? Is there one step? Is there 10 steps? Help me understand. Uh, well, let's say I'm an RVer and I say, well, I have a leaky roof. Uh, how do, what happens next? I call you and then what happens? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll like to give you a little bit more uh, background in terms of what we do and then I'll go right into that. Okay, basically, good. basically, uh, what RV Armor is doing is it's revolutionizing the RV roofing business because we're creating a molded one-piece roof, essentially, is what we're doing. So we, we're eliminating all the caulking, all the seams, we're eliminating the roof maintenance. And so what we've done is we've manufactured and we've tweaked the, the, some systems that we've been using for over 30 years commercially and made them so that they're uh, specifically for our, the RV environment because we're basically driving earthquakes going down the road, right? Because the, the, what happens with the RV roof is it goes through a lot more, uh, it's a lot tougher conditions than in your traditional house or commercial environment because of the moving and shaking and stopping and going and weather conditions and all the things that we put RV roofs through. So basically what we've decided to do is we, we, we developed a liquid applied roofing system that over the course of a two day application and multiple steps, uh, we're creating a molded one piece roof. We're essentially doing everything from stripping off your old sealants to priming your roof and cleaning your roof. And we're basically on our hands and knees for two to three days, uh, being very, what I call intimate with your roof. And we literally are on our hands and knees for two solid days. But when we're done, 
it's essentially bulletproof. When we're done, the only thing you'd ever want to get up on your roof for is if, if you just want to go up there and wash it. But from our standpoint, uh, you know, it's, it's going to last forever. In fact, we back it up with a lifetime material and labor warranty. And um, we, we just feel like we've got the, the best roofing system on the market for our readers. Okay, that is a really good overview. But I know that there's a deeper story there because uh, you were telling me that, you know, when you're getting up there on your hands and knees, What's actually happening? I mean, could you use that illustration? You had a visual aid you on bet. a notebook. You bet. Yeah, you bet. So, all right. So I want everybody to get creative and pre pretend that this top of this notebook here is the top of your RV. So it's essentially, I want you to pretend that the top of this uh, is your RV roof. And now if you're putting, a, let's just say, a rubber membrane down, an EPDM type roof or a TPO or any of those types of vinyl, any kind of roof like that. Sorry, let me just get rid of that piece right there. It's a little too much. Nice visual aid, huh? All right, but anyways, the, uh, at least I got a good sense of humor. Anyways, if you can imagine this. Now, right now, this, if this piece of cardboard here, let's just say it was wood, a wood deck. Now, if I'm just going to take this glass of water right here, if I was to pour a little bit on there right now, the chances of a lot of water going through here are not particularly good, right? Because it's just all solid. Now, if I was to, it, but as soon as I get ready to uh, put this, if I started to cut a bunch of holes in here and I, and I started to pour some water in here, pretty good chance I'm gonna get water through there, right? As soon as I cut a hole. Sure. So let's start, wow. off, let's start off with the rubber membrane. The first thing, the way they do it at the factory is that it all is, all this, if you can imagine up on this end, if it was a spool of carpet, except in this case, it's a spool of EPDM rubber roofing. And what they do is they pull it out over the top of the whole thing and they glue it down. So now that it's glued down, now I got this rubber roof glued down over this whole thing before there's any holes in here. If I poured water down there, it's not going to leak, right? But I had to glue it. Now once I put a bunch of holes in here, and now I've got your vents, your skylights, so your refrigeration vents, I've got all those things in here, your AC units. Now if I got all these holes in here, the only way that I can stop water from coming in is to caulk around all those things, right? Or put sealants around them. That's how it's done, right? Uh, otherwise, you would just have a, an opening and water would just come right in. So you had to seal up around that. So what we've done is we, we, we've flipped the equation upside down. So essentially what we've done is rather than having to glue something down, what we've done is we strip off all the old sealants. We go about four inches onto the front cap because there's a cap where your front cap meets the roof itself. Okay. On the front cap, back cap, okay. So every unit has got a front cap and a back cap and then a, a roofing area. And so there is a, a strip right there. That is a big leak area. So what we do is we straddle that on the front and the back. The same thing when it comes down the side of the radius down in the gutters. So that all gets sealed. So what we do is we, we incorporate our, our mastics and flashing materials and fabrics. And we do all that stuff first. So once we get all that stuff done first, then we apply our system rather than pre-making it and then gluing it down. We're going to make it on site. So it's going to start off in liquid form. And then when it drops, dries it is going to become a molded one piece unit so now there is going to be no more exposed seams no more caulking you won't see anything other than just one solid roof and uh, it's maintenance free it won't that won't chalk crack peel flake uh it's basically designed to be impervious to the weather so it's going to last forever essentially oh. i hope that makes some sense on That's a piece of very card. good very good but illustration uh, and thank you for the notebook, even though it covered up part of your chin. I liked it. Yeah, I know. You know, I know. I really understand. And so sure. now we've got this whole uh, liquid uh, sealed rooftop. Yes. And is there, I think we understand what, what you do to provide that solution for all the leaks. Now, let me ask you. What are things that when people begin to consider this that they might need to look out for? And uh, what I mean by that is, if I've got a problem, I can do one of two things. I can call Lee, or I can go back to my factory or my dealer, I guess. But what things do I need to keep in mind? Help us be, be a friend here. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure, sure. I'm going to answer that in a couple of different ways. One is that, um, if you're, if you've got a problem, first thing you want to do is you want to check out your roof for structure because you want to make sure you have no 
no uh, wood damage. You know, that's important to know when you're up there, if you're walking around, because you'll, you typically, you can tell when you get on a, a roof because it's, it's going to be extremely spongy in certain areas. Now there's a certain amount of flex in some of these uh, RV roofs anyways, because they try to use light material uh, because weight is an important thing on RVs. And um, so there's a certain amount of flex, but once you get up there, you'll, you have to really watch out around your antennas and vents and things because water has a tendency to, when it comes in, it has a tendency to leach out almost kind of like a sponge. It just kind of like soaks it up all the way around it. And once it's had enough water, it, it uh, then uh, it becomes water damaged. And then it's your, you could fall through it essentially. So you have to really be careful up there with that. But as far as uh, types of uh, what to look out for in terms of types of roofing systems, I'm a big proponent of the seamless uh, industry. I think that there's a, enough advancements in the seamless technology nowadays that I would want to see every RVer get some kind of a seamless roofing. And I'm not saying you have to buy our system. I'm just saying that there are a few of us that, that do an excellent job out in the industry that I would recommend any one of us, really. But I would really have tried to get you to avoid going back to a service center or a dealer or even to the factory and just get a newer version of what you had before. Because one of the things we talked about before when the, that roof is glued down and you're going back to, and let's just say it's an RV service center, and they're starting to tear off that old roof, you got a couple of problems. One is that that, that old rubber roof is not going to go anywhere and it's going to go into the dump, right? And, and that doesn't, uh, that doesn't uh, decompose well, right? So it's just going to be, you know, junk in there for for many 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 years um the other one is that when you start to tear off a, a uh, rubber roof it's because it's glued down quite often it tears up the old wood underneath there so now you got to replace the wood and you got to replace the rubber it's often a seven to ten thousand dollar deal and sometimes you get a material warranty sometimes you don't but almost generally you get like a 90-day warranty from the, the service center that's doing it uh you're basically getting and at the end of the day even after all that you still have to maintain it. So you still have to go back to UV treatments. You still have to re it. You have to keep up with all of this stuff. So there are better solutions out there. And um, I would just recommend go, going with one of the seamless ones, so, solutions. Very, very good uh, advice for people who have this kind of problem. I mean, uh, it seems like a no brainer to me. Why would you want to do something that isn't working and repeat the process? <laughs> good, good advice. Uh, let me ask you this. Is there, any particular thing about the way that you do your service that might be different from some of the other people? I think you have a very unique aspect about your business, and if, we don't, if I don't ask you, they won't know. Sure, sure. Uh, I, you know, everybody has their advantages, and I think that the RV Armor advantages is, is there's many things. Uh, is one is that uh, we manufacture our own product, so we make it at a plant in, in uh, Texas that it was specifically designed for our, the RV environment. Uh, two is that we want to make it convenient. Uh, we have 38 techs that are trained and have spent over a week training to learn how to do the system that travel the country, so you don't have to go anywhere. We're going to come right to you to do do the install most of many 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 of our I think customers the fact live that in it yeah, while we're doing it so we if do something ever goes wrong them rv parks we do them out in the desert and port so you name where we are wow. we do a, pretty much do it where, wherever the customer is um the fact is that you know at the end of the day i think what makes us unique is being an rv we all know that sometimes something goes wrong right so what happens if i hit a tree or or hailstorm came through or something happened and i broke a skylight i get that question quite often so what happens in that case well instead of you having to pack up and haul back across the country to try to go get some service work done. You're picking up the phone, calling us, and we're having one of our mobile techs come back out and do a service call for you, right? So we, we want wow. to make it in case something happens in that arena as well. So I think just the fact that we eat, breathe, and sleep, our sleep RV roofing only. We don't do anything else. Our techs don't do anything else but RV roofing. Uh, we, um, we're good at one thing, and that's, that's roofing. Well, uh, you know, what you say makes a lot of sense to me. I'm becoming a believer. But, you know, there's a lot of people that are skeptics out there. I mean, we've got, you know, people uh, that lie to us every day, whether they're, you're in business or whether they're a politician or whoever it might be. <laughs> uh, right. yeah. So I'm trying to ask you, maybe is there, what can we share with everybody that helps them bridge the confidence gap? I mean, do you have something on your website or are there some certifications or before and after testimonials? Help, help, help bridge sure. that for us. We, we have, of course we have before and after uh, pictures, right? In fact, every week on Facebook, 
we have 41,000 plus followers on Facebook and every week we post a different job being featured somewhere around the country. So there's always a before and after and lots of comments and lots of messages. So you're certainly welcome to uh, see that we have a pretty good following on Facebook. We have over 150,000 uh, views on our uh, video that's on our uh, the main video on our, our website uh, we, as well as other testimonials. Uh, we have a number of customers that are on their second or third or even fourth RV that they put an RV armor roof on. So, wow. uh, but th I think that you know we're just uh, we're we're just a bit uh, old fashioned. We just want we're our we're our viewers. Uh, over eighty five percent of our techs are our viewers. Um, so uh, I think that uh, it's just who we are. It's just we, we we I think you'll find that we're the real deal. Well, uh, I thank you for that. You know, let me ask you, I know that uh, we talked earlier and you said there might be a special offer that you might provide to some of the uh, network RV viewers and listeners today. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. For, for your network uh, and listeners here, uh, we, you and I talked and we, and we came up with a uh, $200 discount for any one of your listeners or viewers there. So hopefully that will help them and, and uh, it'll be good for them. And we appreciate them uh, giving us a shot. Well, I, Gary, uh, I mean, Lee, I want to thank you for that offer. I want to thank everyone for watching today. There is an orange button below the video called Special Offer. If you click on that, we will provide you with the uh, Special Offer link and if, uh, special code. So, again, I want to thank everybody for helping us to make smart buyers smarter. And I want to thank uh, you, uh, Lee, for taking the time out of a very busy day. I know that uh, it's been busy, busy, busy. Uh, and I want to thank everyone again for listening. So please like us and uh, pass this on to your friends. And with that, I'm going to say bye now. And uh, thank you so much. Hey, thank you.